Hey, good morning, it's J-Dog. Hey, what a beautiful Florida morning as you can see behind me. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna be finishing up my virtual Camino and I'm gonna show you two or three more places where I went biking and walking on my virtual Camino. I've got a little over 200 kilometers to go on my virtual Camino and I want to show you today a couple places that uh, I haven't been to for a while. One's a new place and one's a state park, Lover's Key State Park, that I'm going to ride my bike down to and uh, show you that. So I'm at Lover's Key State Park. This state park is at the very southern tip of Estero Island. It's actually not on the island. It's on its own separate island. I had to cross a bridge to get here. But this is a lovely state park. They have some beautiful beaches here, which I'll show you some clips of here. It's a really nice place to go to the beach. And it's a great place for kayaking. I'll show you some of that. Uh, but more importantly, it's a great place to go. It has some two hiking trails. Uh, you can ride bikes on them also, which I'm going to do. But one is called the Black Island Trail. That's about 2.6 miles long. And the other trail is called the Eagle Trail. It's about 1.6 miles. I've done both of them before. In fact, I'll put up a little link here to a video that I made a few years ago about this very uh, state park. But it's a nice place. It's the first time I've come down this year. So, But I got some miles, about 10 miles from my home. So I got about a 20 mile round trip plus about five miles of riding in here that I'm going to do for my virtual Camino. But I'm going to show you, show you some clips along the trail so you can see kind of what the hiking trails are like. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time because I'm going to show you some other places that I uh, have gone to on my virtual Camino. So I'm at the trailhead of the Eagle Trail, which I mentioned I'm going to ride. You can see this is a beautiful trail. I'll just show you kind of what it looks like. What a beautiful canopy of stuff in here, but we're going to go down there and do some riding. This is a pretty trail. Uh, the trail, as you saw on the map, is like these fingers that go down and these, all these canals that uh, you see along the trail, so it's quite pretty. Uh, the canals are quite popular for people kayaking. Well, that was a nice trail. I forgot how nice that was. I think the last time I did those trails, was probably four years ago, but uh, that was a nice one, the Eagle Trail. Uh, overall, uh, on my virtual Camino, let me see. I'm going to be probably done uh, 15 miles and I got to get home. So I've got about a 25 mile uh, trip, which will be added to my virtual Camino. And now I'm going to show you my next place. So I'm at the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife uh, Refuge on Sanibel. I just biked out here. It's about 13 miles from uh, where I came and they have a nice uh, trail out here uh, through the refuge which I'm going to bike on. It's about a four mile loop but let me show you the map so you can see where I'm going. So this is a map of Sanibel and uh, I say as I mentioned I biked out here and I am right there now and I'm going to do this loop here around and then come back on this trail and come back to where I started. Uh, this wildlife preserve is noted for its birds. So I got uh, a couple of my cameras with me uh, to take some pictures. Hopefully I get some good ones. And if I do, I'm going to put them in the slides uh, in the video. So I'm on this wildlife loop. I'm on the, uh, the road portion of it when I showed you on the map there. But I'll show you some clips here of uh, what it's like as I'm uh, riding. A lot of birds in here. A lot of people stop to take pictures of the birds and stuff. So this is that's why this is a one-way road. There's an observation tower here on the road, which uh, I'm going to go up, get a kind of a 360 view of 
the the areas. So this is the view from the observation tower. I'm going to take some pictures of those birds over there. Ah, you can see it's pretty. And the other side over here. Well, I'm now about uh, two miles up on the wildlife loop, and I'm going to take the Indigo Trail, which takes me back to the visitor center. It's more of a in the woods type of trail. Well, I just got done riding the Indigo Trail. Not much to see on the Indigo Trail. It was uh, not much to see. But uh, this little boardwalk goes back to the visitor center here. I'll show you this. I didn't see too many birds. I, I showed you a couple pictures of, uh, I don't know what they were, big white birds. I was looking to see if there was any rows, uh, like spoonbills, but I didn't see any. But uh, no, it's a nice bike ride. Uh, I make you walk your bike uh, back through here. So, um, but no, I enjoyed it. I would definitely come out here and do this again uh, at the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. Well, I'm back at the beach and uh, I finished up my virtual Camino while I was out in Sanibel biking through the uh, JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. I finished up, I tallied up the mileage and I was complete uh, right at the end of that. So, yay. I ended up doing all 483 miles, 774 kilometers. I did the Camino over 10 and a half weeks, 73 days. And which meant my average was about six to seven miles a day, which is pretty good. I did combination walking and biking. Most people who do the Camino, it takes them about, in Spain, about five weeks to do it. Of course, they're walking all day long, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles a day. But I felt good about what I did. I saw a, uh, a little study they did about why people walk the Camino in Spain. And uh, it's kind of all over the place. Some people do it for religious, spiritual reasons. Some people do it to disconnect, reconnect, uh, self-awareness. Uh, so a lot of people do it for exercise, a challenge. I did it really because of the exercise and the challenge. Also did it for some uh, self-reflection while I'm biking and walking. I kind of disconnect. But uh, no, I enjoyed it and I'm glad you uh, got to follow it and see some of the new places that I went to on my virtual Camino. So. But thank you very much and stay tuned. See you on down the road.